Okay, so here we are shooting the Spoke 50 challenge finally after many, many, many days of not doing this. Um, it's just exhausting. <laughs> and I have a family and children and Christmas is coming and this house needed to look slightly nice. So after, with no further ado, we have Spoke 50 challenge to you. Uh, I am Anna Maria. And this is the Happy Mean, which is my project of um, bringing happiness through a balanced lifestyle. I am finding different topic topics of the month that about things that make us feel happy. I think everybody has a different way to arrive to happiness, but we do work in a simpler uh, format, which is... Uh, usually striving for balance, enjoying the world without abusing the world. Um, so, for the month of December, we are exploring the topic of Christmas and looking at different Christmas traditions, different things that happen in Christmas that makes us feel happy and loving. And it's just such a fun, fun season. Um, I love it. I absolutely love Christmas. So I'm excited to have parties, to host parties, to go to parties, to see people I haven't seen in a while. And yeah, just to, to have fun, to have fun uh, celebrating and that we are loved because that's really the ultimate uh, reason why we are celebrating Christmas because we are celebrating that God loved so much the world that he came to the to earth to let us know <laughs> music in the background i'm not a piano player so don't even ex uh, uh, how do you say expect that from me i will never play the piano for you maybe maybe one day um yeah what do you do for christmas what is exciting for you this season um uh, i have I am, let me show you, I will show you what I'm doing right now, and then I will have to come back in a second. So I ran out of candy, but this is our advent calendar, I just finally finished, I still need to put some words here and some words here, but coming along, at least the kids can come and get their candy, and I'm adding a little prayer of the day. Maybe take the opportunity to teach them a different frame. And it has, this has come to be a very uh, learning experience for them and me. <laughs> Patience, one, first of all. And secondly, there's so much that you can teach them. Start with numbers, colors, the story of a star, the story of the Gabriel angel, the story of Isabel and Mary. We've glued everything together. They enjoyed cutting with scissors, gluing with glue, motor skills. Um, and then we have the story of the three magi. They, uh, the reasons why Christ is a king and what they bring and what they symbolize. And then we have the little pastors or uh, shepherds and their ugly ass sheep. <laughs> And then we're going to have, well, the little stable, which comes the story of the nativity. And that night we're going to find Jesus. Ah, little baby Jesus. Nobody has a mouth and they just look hilarious, but I love them. Uh, and then we got our tree up. And anyways, I won't uh, we'll show one. But in the topic of, of Christmas, let's have a little chat about faith and how that is coming together in this week. Faith, hope, and trust, and how they all help, they are all powered by love. Pa uh, love is the one that gives them power uh, to keep going, or to believe, or to trust. Uh, and I have a couple examples for you. Let's go straight right, dive right in. Uh, I am a person that likes to be in control, I think, of, of what I do and uh, everything I'm, 
not everything. I'm not like a control freak, but I do like to have some control of uh, what I'm doing. So when I am placed in a in a position where I am not in control, I find a, a little anxiety on, on what's happening. And sometimes I have to trust the person that I put my um, my time um, with that it's gonna be a good experience that they're gonna that I'm gonna learn something new from from them and um, well sometimes it's a little hard to trust people of course and then, but sometimes it's easy to say fine I will give up my my way so that I can go your way um, because and it's it, I mean it, it gets easier if if you love a person uh, whether that's a friend or a, a family member you just have to trust that that option is going to be much better than what you thought and that's that's it sometimes we have to trust that what we don't know is better than what we know and i think that is faith um, i don't completely know what is coming late later in life but i know i have a that if i do the things right that if i love through my life um that if i keep choosing love things will get well and good and that to me is faith i put the faith uh, my faith in christ some people might put it in something else um but that is my my faith my ship there and i'm excited to to celebrate that um to celebrate that faith with my children in all my <laughs> christmas decorations and with you now uh, here on the internet i think a lot of the times we don't know our faith enough to love it or to know how much we are loved because really our faith only is tell it's a story it's a love story the world is a love story for us and when you realize that well life gets a lot better so i encourage you to go and find some love and let's go to our quote of the day and good night All right, a late night reading for you. The true mediator you showed to humanity in your secret mercy. You sent him so that from his example, they should learn humility. He is a mediator between God and man. The man Christ Jesus. He appeared among mortal sinners as an immortal righteous one, mortal like humanity, righteous like God. Because the wages of righteous righteousness are life and peace. Being united with God by his righteousness, he made void the death of justified sinners, a death which it has his will to share in common with them. He has made known to the ancient saints so that they could be saved through faith by his future passion, just as we are saved through faith in his passion now that it is past. It is, an, it is as man that he is mediator. He is not midway as word, for the word is equal to God, and God with God, and at the same time, there is but one God. So that's, um, that's what I can give you today. The word became flesh and lived amongst us. That's part of a, a prayer called um, the angels. And it's, it's a prayer to, to Mary usually uh, for the intercession, intercession of Mary. Um, and we say that, and the word became God and dwelt among us. Uh, 
the word of love became man and that's the beauty of Christmas. So that's our reflection for the night. Good night.